Okay, hello, this is Brett Mateo Alderson. I'm here with Israel Vasquez, the undisputed ring magazine championship, 122 pound, universally acknowledged as the world champion, the, the legitimate world champion at 122 pounds. Um, Israel just uh, be, uh, came out victorious in a great fight on the undercard of uh, Barrera Juarez 2. He came back uh, against all odds and won a fight in which was a, a candidate for the fight of the year and which won honors for fight of the year uh, in the, with the World Boxing uh, Hall of Fame. Um, Israel, uh, tell, uh, how, how you doing? Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien. I'm very well, thank you. Um, what do you what I want to know about that. When you were in the fight, what did you think? Did you feel like you had him? Did you feel like you had a chance? Cuando estabas en pelea, ¿te sentiste que tenía la, la oportunidad de ganarlo? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué estabas pensando? What were you thinking? Did you feel like you had the chance to to win the fight, were you? Did you think you were in the fight? Ah, uh, sí. Uh, nunca pensé en, en la derrota. Siempre estuve pensando que podía ganar esa pelea. Eh, un poco de trabajo a los primeros seis rounds, pero después encontré el, 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 la distancia justa y lo pude conectar. I never thought at uh, one time. I've always felt confident that I would come back. I know that the first six rounds were a little tough, but nevertheless, I, I knew that once I found the distance, that I knew that I would be able to get to Johnny. Y como, ¿y él te dolió? ¿Estabas uh, do dolorido o no durante la pelea? ¿Were you hurt during the fight? ¿Did he hurt you? No, no, nunca estuve lastimado. Uh, siempre estuve consciente de, de las dos caídas. Eh, afortunadamente nunca me precipité a otra, otra caída más. Y fue eso lo que, que pienso que me ayudó para poder sacar la victoria. Never at one time was I ever hurt um, after the two knockdowns. I said, as a matter of fact, that might have even helped me because that gave me even more uh, confidence to go in and do what I had to do. And what do you think? Um, what was, is this the most gratifying victory of your career? Or would you say the last uh, Larios fight when you won the Undisputed Championships at uh, 122 pounds? Uh, para ti fue la, como fue la victoria más importante de su carrera? ¿O piensas que la victoria contra Larios la última vez? ¿Cuál fue más importante para tu vida y, y el desarrollo de tu carrera? Uh, pienso que todas son importantes en la vida. Eh, de, afortunadamente esta, esta victoria fue muy, muy uh, sonada por el tipo de rival. Era un rival muy duro y lo cual pues, me hizo prepararme mejor. O sea, siempre pensar en la victoria y, este, y pues... La, pienso que la mejor victoria de mi carrera la hice en el gimnasio. I, I feel that uh, all the fights are very important. Um, certainly I think that uh, working hard out in the gym, uh, that's where I, 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 got, I gained the victory because I prepared myself very well for this fight. So I feel that this was uh, very well, uh, this is one of my most important victories. Now, Johnny Gonzalez is a class act. Um, He's also, um, you know, a Mexican national citizen. What do you feel about, do you talk to him after the fight? Nel es un buen campeón, es una buena persona. ¿Hablaste con él después de la pelea? Do you talk to him after the fight? Uh, sí, muy poco. Pues, afortunadamente, siempre trato de llevar una buena relación con mis rivales. La rivalidad solo es en el ring. Después de ahí, es, eh, amistad como cualquier otra persona. Este, él también es un buen muchacho, joven. Con mucha hambre, yo veo que tiene mucho futuro, pero no conmigo. Yes, he says, I had some uh, short, short uh, speakings with him. Uh, of course, I try to have a good relationship with all the fighters that we fight, and we have a little converse after the fight, but uh, certainly I will see, uh, certainly I was a better fighter. Yeah, he has a good future, but not, not when he's in the ring with not you, when, right? Not, not when he's with Israel. <laughs> okay. What do you think, man? What do you think, uh, what do you think about the, the fight between Larios and um, Manny Pacquiao? He gave a good account against himself against Pacquiao. He had Pacquiao buzzed a little bit. Um, so what do you think about the fight between, uh, did you watch the fight between Larios and Pacquiao that happened this past summer? ¿Qué piensas de la pelea? ¿Viste la pelea entre Pacquiao y Larios ahí en the Philippines este verano? ¿Qué piensas de la pelea? Sí, pues fue muy buena, Larios, realmente yo no le miraba la oportunidad de llegar a la, a la distancia, uh, pero lo pudo, lo pudo hacer, demostró ser un buen peleador, eh, afortunadamente yo llevo dos, dos victorias sobre él, y qué bueno para mí, ¿no? pero, pero uh, yo pienso que, que eso comprueba una vez más que hay, posibil, hay muy, tengo mucha posibilidad de pelear con Men. Yeah, he says, uh, he says he, he fought a good fight. He, would, he didn't go the 12 rounds with the distance with Larios. 
Uh, don't forget that I beat them twice. I think I have good possibilities of, of uh, beating even Manny Pacquiao and having a fight with him in the future. And what do you think, Aura? I've talked with your manager, uh, Mr. Frank Espinosa, and we're talking about your future. And, and right now, you guys aren't sure. You guys kind of want Rafael Marquez. You're hoping the fight with that him happens. What are you thinking? Like, what are your dreams? What are your goals? Who do you want to fight? Um, ahora hablé con tu con tu gerente. Él me dijo que ustedes quieren una pelea contra Rafael Marquez. Pero qué quieres tú? ¿Cuáles son las metas de tu vida, de tu carrera? Uh, ¿Con quién quieres pelear? Dime lo que la, los sueños tuyos. Oh, bueno, Rafael es muy muy tentativo a pelear con nosotros, puesto que es un peleador que tiene gran nombre. Está catalogado por una magazine que, que es entre los 10 mejores del mundo. Eh, considero que sería una buena posibilidad de pelearle a él. Yo me gustaría nombres grandes, en el caso de Rocky Juárez, Barrera, Benny Pacquiao. Eh, yo pienso que estoy en un gran momento en mi carrera en el que ya merezco ese tipo de, de gente, pelear con ellos. Sí, es que él siente que Rafael Márquez es uno de los top 10 fighters en el mundo. Él dice but also, you know, we like, we're considering even to moving up also in the weight and possibly fighting like Rocky Juarez, Barrera, uh, Pacquiao. We want to, we want more uh, bigger fights with bigger names. Okay. Um, I just want to tell you, I just want to, on behalf of the boxing uh, fans around the world and uh, all the reporters, I just want to thank you for that fight you just gave us. That was an incredible moment in boxing history. Um, I feel like you have the heart of a champion. It was one of the greatest comebacks. Uh, probably, you know, it was probably one of the top 10 Grace come back to the last 10 years. Um, quiero agradecerle por uh, tu victoria, por el ter corazón que enseñaste al mundo y, y por el, el momento uh, magnifi magnífico que uh, daste al mundo. I just want to thank you for everything you gave us in the last performance. It was really awesome.